What is going on? Welcome back to your Lake Fork Guide. Hey, it's Lake Fork, the Goat Lake. She's right there. She's behind me. We're going spring bass fishing. Probably going to look at them on beds. There's a real good chance we might see a giant. Cody Mays is coming along. What's up, guys? My tournament fishing hammer. He's here. Hopefully he doesn't just catch unders. We'll see. We're going for giants today. Welcome back to Lake Fort, guys. Man, it is the Goat Lake, and I'm so happy to be back here filming. I love this place. I love this place. It's a special place that uh, Big Fish abounded. If you saw the Mega Bass video we did last week, man, it's just unbelievable the kind of fish this place continues to kick out year after year. 15 pounder won it. We had another 10 pounder in that tournament, several overs, a lot of nine pounders. Just an unbelievable place. Uh, this water that I'm sitting on right now is hallowed, hallowed ground. And today we've got a great opportunity. Uh, we've got an opportunity to fish Lake Fork at the end of March, a couple days after a full moon. Uh, there should be, the fish primarily should be spawning. So we're gonna spend most of our time focused on spawning bass, probably all of our time focused on spawning bass today. Problem is we got really bad conditions to see them. We got heavy cloud cover and a lot of wind today. That's gonna make it very challenging to look at these fish on beds, but uh, I can't imagine we're gonna be able to catch a whole lot of fish that aren't spawning. I think most of the fish on the lake are spawning at this point. Uh, after this last full moon. So we're really gonna have to catch those fish off beds. Now, if we can't see them, we may have to resort to weightless plastics, wacky Senko, stuff like that. Maybe if we get it in the windy areas, we can catch them shallow on a swim bait or a reaction bait. Uh, but we're really gonna focus on focusing on the really shallow bank driven spawning bass today. And I will tell you this, it's Lake Fork a couple days after a full moon. And you don't ever know what size of fish is gonna put herself right in front of you this time of year out here. So we're gonna go out and fish hard today. We're not gonna have a full day. It's gonna be a little bit more of a shorter day today, uh, but we're gonna fish hard while we're here and we're gonna see what old girl will kick out. Well, what's going on folks? Welcome back to your Lake Fork Guide. We're out here at Lake Fork and uh, this is a guide trip kind of starting out pretty well. Mr. Gabe Knox, hold that fish up. There you go. A freaking tank right off the bat this morning. Just grab her by the tail like a baseball bat and then drop her head. And there she's ready. She's, gone. she's ready. That's an awesome start, brother. All right, Billy. So folks at home, what happened here was, what, a few weeks ago? Yeah, about, about three weeks ago, yeah. About three or four weeks ago, we were doing a live stream on Facebook. And spur of the moment, somebody suggested that I give away a cup, a Yeti cup. And I said, well, I'll tell you what, we'll auction it off. And it was a year Lake Fort Guide kind of custom deal. So I said, well, we'll auction it off. We'll donate it to 22 Kill. Great veteran nonprofit. The bid ended up going so high that I threw in a free guide trip as well. Gabe got the winning bid. Mr. Gabe donated 1500 and what? 25 $1,525 to 22 Kill for this trip. So we've got Gabe and his brother. And one of their buddies is actually right over there fishing beside us. He's going to be following us around today. So... So what we're doing it's march we're dealing with some cold front cooling water trends uh dirty water we've had a lot of rain and wind lately so it's not ideal conditions even though it is getting towards the later part of march it's march 24th it should be absolute go time but it's actually been kind of tough so we'll see how it shakes out today we're gonna have a first kind of really warm day after these cold fronts today it's gonna be about 78 degrees for a high so it could get good by the end of the day i think it started out pretty good oh yeah like <laughs> <fifth cast. laughs> started out pretty good so it's a lot later today and honestly it's been a pretty slow day but y'all saw the nice about seven pounder that mr gabe started out with his brother justin is with us today justin i think you might have something for the folks at home to see why don't you bring it on here and let's see, let's see what you got there just a nice little fish just a nice little fish that one is 24 and a quarter inches about nine and a half pounds folks at home that is an awesome that's why you come to lake fork right there that's a lake fork bass that's what they're supposed to look like Hey, give me a little fish bump, dog. Oh, you gotta do it with the other hand. Oh, the fish wait, bump, wait. let's go. That's Beauty. so sweet, brother. Beauty. Let's go. You ready to ease her back and let her go? Yeah. All right. There she goes, she kicking. See you later. <laughs> Even gave you a little cool down splash. My man. All right, bro. Sweet stuff. Nice. 
to her but it's a him folks and you know what he's 2021 that fish can identify however he she wants to identify okay. shell beds and bed fishing that's the spring deal out here he's here he's here pitched in there and uh i couldn't even see him i didn't even see him sit there i just pitched in there and he bit got him cody there's one of your tournament fish that is a good thing. there you go mr tournament fisherman that's for you listen here folks at home obviously i'm looking for bigger fish on beds than that when i come to lake fork but if I roll by one and he sits there and stares at me and kind of like dares me to throw at him, I'm going to go ahead and catch him real quick. Got to train him up so when he does get bigger, he knows exactly how to bite my bait when I throw it in there. That's what it is. We're just training them up, folks. We're just training them up. Well, they say hashtag raise them right. <laughs> we, we forgot to turn the cameras on. It was such a cool catch, too, because I talked... We talked through the whole thing yeah. and this ain't the biggest bass on lake fort but by god you ain't gonna mistake him for any other bass out here look at him just all kinds of marked up on holstein bass tatted up what'd you say holstein dairy cow <laughs> you in east texas bro dairy cow i didn't know we took a farmer for a rancher for <laughs> fishing today go old dairy farmer give this because it looks so cool i'm gonna see this one again we'll give it a ear scratch They'll come back to see you when they get bigger, folks. That's a cool fish right there. It's about to happen, Maze. It is about to go down, brother. We got cameras rolling this time? Yeah, we do. It. That's pretty cool when I said it's about to go down and I flip it in and catch him. <laughs> Nailed it! I thought he was bigger than that though. I did too. Well, there may be two in there. They're hard to see, folks. We thought this fish was bigger than what it was. But like I said, we're dealing with clouds, wind, a little bit of stained water too. You know, we've had a lot of rain lately, so it is kind of hard to get a very good feel for how big they are when they're in there. But Big or small, we'll catch them all. They won't sit there and turn backwards on me on a bed. I'm gonna catch every one of my can, mate. Nice. <laughs> Heads up. <laughs> Heads up, he stole my cricket, mate. <laughs> you, got, you gotta keep the camera going. Well, you can put the camera at me. <laughs> I, I'm hide. trying to reenact Matrix over here, man. No, you're the cameraman. You gotta hold the camera steady, bro. He stole my cricket, folks. Mm -hmm. She broke me off. I think she's bigger than what we thought she was. I think so, too. But she stretched all the way across that bed. When she would get, like, sideways on it, she would stretch all the way across it. She was a lot bigger than I thought she was. And I just broke her off. Huh. Now you got to catch her to get your bait back. That's right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's one way to look at it. Good. <laughs> that was the worst fish catch ever. And that fish is not bigger than we thought he was. No. It may not be the same one. I don't even see another hook hole, dude. No way. 
That can't be the same one. I don't think so. It's a little big now. Yeah. You catch him? Man, this is what you doing back here? You back here playing in the nursery, son. Hey, you stole, yeah, you stole his fish, mate. That's messed up, bro. You on that sinker? Go ahead, bro. All right, all over the place here. Catch every one of them that'll bite. Doesn't make you good to catch you. are catching them off camera, Maze. Way to go, Maze. It's like a bass, but smaller. She's like, I'll tell you, she's maybe more. Oh, he's got my bait. Should I shake him off? Ooh. What is going on with the breakups? Both sitting there now too. Dude, you should just see how wide she is. Oh, he just took a swipe at it. She's still sitting there. Cody, I'm telling you, you couldn't put your hand across her back, bro. Couldn't what? Whew. She just thumped it. She did. And he thumped it. I'm a little too close now. Now she's left. He took a swipe at it and ran, and then she thumped it one time. Oh, God. Oh, God. One of them turned down on her. I think it's her. She's so fat. I don't think she's as long as I'm going to talk to her. I don't think she's going to talk to her. Sir, let's her get the net. God. Oh God, she's on the boat. Come on, be tired, be tired, be tired, be tired, be tired. Get ready, hold on, wait. She's going to the back, she's making her eye. She's all the way over here. Okay, she's back over here. Okay, she's starting to get tired. Runs. Don't, 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 don't. She's pretty big, I see. Get ready. Here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Let's go. Let's break her. Go. <laughs> Woo! That's a ten for sure. Like at least a ten. Look at that thing, Maze. Let's freaking go. Let's go. Don't, 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 don't. It's pretty big. Yeah, it's weird. Get ready. Get ready. Here she comes. Here she comes. Here she comes. Get her. Get her. Get her. Get her. Let's go. Let's freaking go. Woo! That's a 10 for sure. 
like at least a 10. Look at that thing, Maze. <laughs> Let's freaking go. Oh, shit. I got a board right down there. A long board, yep. a 24 inch board. Yep. Let me see that. Look. Oh, 25, over 25, bro. 11 1. 11 1. Yeah, of course. There you go, folks. Locked it in at 11 1. Cody, I need you to take a picture of it on the scale. Get us a picture. We'll call it 11 0. Got it? Yep. That time it locked in on 11 pounds, 0 ounces. Now, let's get a, get the fish a drink, Maze. Get this thing out of here. I'm freaking shaking, dude. There you go. Baby, ain't it? Yes, sir. That's a monster. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, here's our 11 pounder we just caught. We're actually going to lay her down and, and retract, extract a couple scales from her, and that's going to help Sherlocker determine the genetics of this fish. And maybe this fish is a baby of a previous Sherlocker from Lake Fork. We're just going to try and get in here and be as gentle as we can. And the guy at Sherlocker told me it's easier to get them from the tail section. There's one that's popping up right there. There we go. Grab that and just pull it. There's one. They said collect two or three, so we'll try to get three. There's two. We'll get one more from her. There's three scales, so we'll take care of that here in a minute. We'll dry those off and put them in a in a little baggie or something to hold them. Oh, we gotta get the circumference on it real quick, Cody. Mm -hmm. We'll just get it like this right here. A little fatter down here. There we go. We'll get that right there, and then we'll cut it off right where that line ends. And then we can take this, this piece of line, and save it, and that'll be her circumference once we lay that out on the board and measure it. And I'll put that in my pocket right here. We'll do that later. All right. Let me give her a drink real quick, then we'll show her to you one more time. We'll let her go. What a day. So, being a guide, most of the time my customers catch the bigger fish in my boat. And I've only caught a few over 10. Now I've had three over 12 in my boat, so I've seen three fish bigger than this. And I've seen some 11s that are bigger. I've probably seen half a dozen or more fish bigger than this, maybe more than that. So, um, but for me personally, this is the biggest one that I've ever hooked and landed myself. So, new personal best. Biggest bass of my life. Special day in any bass fisherman's life. All right, you ready to see her one more time? All right, yeah, there she is right there. Just a beauty. 20, just a hair over 25 inches long, 11 pounds. Just a special, special, special fish. Lake Fork produces a bunch of them. Mm. All right, let's let her go. When you let fish go, if you'll just take them right here and grab their tail like that, like a baseball bat, which I can't even get my hand around her tail. But you just hold that tail and it'll kind of kick you when they're ready to go. See her kick right there? Now she's ready. And there she goes. That's freaking awesome. That's freaking awesome. Tighten it back up, tighten it back up. Now bring it to me, she's getting tired. Bring it to me, bring it to me. Horse, horse, horse. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, guys, so I wanted to take time to show you guys the bed fishing bait that we caught all of our bed fish on today. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of six cents stuff. Of course, anything that you wanna purchase for six cents, you can find it linked below, sixcentsfishing.com. Go order it there. And you punch in the code, your Lake Four Guide, it'll get you a 10% discount on all orders. Kind of our way of saying thank you to you guys for watching the channel. 
So the bait is, and this is the bait I've caught every bed fish on this year. That's a six inch stroker chrome watermelon red. I got a six inch tungsten. I've been using the three eighths ounce tungsten. The reason I use three eighths ounce over quarter ounce, I'd rather kind of usually use a quarter ounce, but on Lake Fork, it's important to stay as far away from the fish as you can. And having a little bit heavier weight makes it easier for me to be accurate pitching up against these reed heads and stuff that they spawn on from distance with that little bit heavier weight. I've also got a six inch peg X bobber stopper. And what I'm doing is I'm putting that bobber stopper and leaving just like a little quarter inch gap. And that just leaves enough room for that weight to hit that bead. Now that glass bead, the only fish that I used that glass bead on was that last one. I've been going around not using a glass bead uh, all day today. Every fish we caught was just a weight, no bead, and a bait. Um, that last fish being a big one, she was letting me get the bait closer, but she wouldn't quite come up on the bait. And I changed and put that bead on there. And within two or three casts of me putting that bead on there is when you guys saw me catch her. So that's just a little top secret guide trick. I actually learned that from my buddy Zach Hughes, who in my opinion is the best sight fisherman in East Texas. He's certainly the best one I've ever been in the boat with. I really think he's the best sight fisherman on this lake. He catches tons of giants. He's the one taught me about using that bead. And when you're shaking that bait in that bed, it just sits there and hopefully y'all can hear that. Just a little clicking. When you shake it real fast, it goes click, click, click real fast. So. Uh, it really did seem to trigger that big fish to commit and bite, and so the bead was a key player for me today. Uh, the hook that I'm using, it's a six inch jugular, straight shank offset style hook, but six inch jugular hook. This is actually a three aught. In the jugular series that six inch makes, they have a very heavy gauge wire. So I'm actually using the three aught size uh, for my bed fishing stuff. So there's the complete rig guys. There's a good look at it. There's the hook, the bait, the weight, the bobber stopper, and of course, the old top secret guy trick bead. That's what I use on bed fishing. I used it all the last year. It's the only thing I use. It's the only thing I've been using this year. Every bed fish I catch comes off of these right here. I don't know if it can get much better than what just happened. No, it couldn't. I don't really think that it could, man. <laughs> I think we're going to go ahead and call it an early day. I've got a lot of stuff to do. i got soccer practice to get to. Uh, you're a busy working man. has got stuff to take care of around the house as well. So we're going to ease on out of here a little bit early today. Uh, once you catch an 11-pounder, you can pretty much say, yeah, that was a good day. That's right. Uh, you can't beat it. If we would have caught nothing else today, it would have been a good day. So you guys, hey, we got to show them a couple big customer fish from the donated trip that we did for the 22 kill benefit. It was so awesome the way you guys started that up on the Facebook Live that night. Ended up raising like $3,000 in the first one of those trips that we gave away. Guy catches seven pounder first cast in the morning, our first fish in the morning, and his brother catches a nine pounder at the other day. Great way there. Then of course, we had an 11 pounder in this one. Like there's a lot of big fish in this video maze. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Lake Fork, I guess, right? That's right. Pretty much. Where well, anything can happen. That's right. It was an awesome, awesome day, man. I love sight fishing. This was my first day filming a full day of sight fishing like this this year. It was incredible. We caught mostly small fish, and I think the next day or two, uh, we get further away from that full moon, that more females will start pulling in. But by golly, a good enough one showed up today. I just, I, I'm, I'm stammering and stumbling and saying a lot of the same things because I'm a little bit spun out right now, folks. I really am. It's my personal best, the biggest best I ever caught, mate. He apparently is fun out too. He didn't have much to say. Thanks, Cody. Appreciate well, you joining us. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't ask for anything better. I appreciate it. I've had no, fun. I'm absolutely. glad you I'm glad you caught it, man. It was it was it was a pleasure watching it. it yeah. It, it's an art. It really is. There's there's a little something to it. You haven't done as much bed fishing as I have, and you were kinda of asking me a lot of questions, so that was good. Yeah. And Cody, you caught a few today. I mean, granted, like like every other fish we caught today other than that one, they were small. Yeah. But uh you did get to set the hook a few times anyway. Yeah. In a short period of time. So Yeah. There we go. That's it, man. By the way. In case you're wondering, this spot is on the Fish Life app as of today, the day that we're filming it. I will update it. As I always do when we find good fish, we update the Fish Life app, put the new spots on there. Uh, so if you guys aren't subscribed to the Fish Life app, you don't know what it is, you might want to look into that. It's linked in the description as well. Go check that out.